next topic is about the creating structure array. Structure array is one of the array that used in a many programming language. If you know any of the programming language well, you have worked with this array, for example in Java, in C++. Every this array has a some field. In every field, we save a value. For example, it is this a uh, patient is a structure array that contains some field. For example, name, billing, test. For accessing to the field of a structure array, we use the dot. Dot in here is used for accessing to the content of the cell array. It is very simple, but it has uh, many applications. It's very important if you want to work in MATLAB, you must know how to work with the structure. It's very simple way to work uh, with a variable. For example, in other programming language, for example, in a C++, we create a structure array with this command. It has a tree field name, a role, and marks. In C++, we specify the type of every field. But in MATLAB, because it's a high programming level language, we don't set the type of structure. But uh, when we define a field, the MATLAB automatically finds the uh, data type of every field. Let me show you a simple example. As see, I see here uh, there is a two patterns in this uh, structure data I want to create the first. It's very simple, just use a name for your array, then indexing because the structure array can contain many data and uh, put a name for every field, for example. I use this. It's a name. When you create this field for this structure, you didn't you don't you didn't specify the data type, but because it is a character array, the patient structure. If you open it, the first is a character array. The type. The type is automatically. Uh, found it in MATLAB. The next field is billing. It's a number. On the next field, as you see, the one specify the number that uh, what data in this structure are modified or created the next is the result for a test it can be a matrix as you see here the structure can contain a string array character array categorical array the number or a matrix If you open the patients, you see that there is three field. The name is field. It's a value. And the third is a test, and it is a matrix. You will see many algorithms, many methods, many functions in the MATLAB that use the patients. Let me to open. Let me to define another. 
sample for it. Excuse me. I, if you want to modify a name, just uh, use the patient.name and create a new name. Now the name in the first R changes. Okay, if I want to open the new value, I use two, the name, the John, and the billing of the two is 39, and the test. Excuse me, I must use it for two. Now you see that there is a two field in here every field excuse me there are three fields in here the first field is name the second is billing and third is a test and every has a row for itself name is in here billing is here and test is in here okay if you open it in the command window you see that says that it's a structure array one and uh, there is a one row and two columns uh, it has a three field name billing and test if you want to access to a, a field in the array just uh, specify the number of the person that you want to work then press the tab when you press the tab it show you all the field in this structure array for example the name and or you can do two it's very simple and very useful for working with data in MATLAB there are some function for a structure field for example is a field for example, patient now. Excuse me. With this deter, with this uh, command, we determine if the input is a structure array or not. Structure array field. For example, there is a field in my variable. Its name is is a billing let me to check now it says that uh, in your patient there is no field logical is zero the field that is in patient is a billish or billig I use as you see the output is a one or I can test the test in this yes let me check yes this field is in my structure array it is very helpful when you want to uh, in your code you want to modify a field before writing the code that modify the uh, input you must check if this field is in your data or not because when it this day this field is not in your data and you want to modify it the matlab will produce an error and your code fail another function in matlab is a uh, remove a single field from a structure array 
as you see here I have a three field I want to delete this field it's very simple you can I can set a new name for output agent2 for removing a field use the command rm rm is aberration for remove and field from which array agent what field do you want to remove finish okay if you open the patient to the finish command is not finish uh, field is not in your data you see that the name same finish is not in this and test is the output or you can remove multiple fields in your structure uh, sometimes you don't need some field you can remove a field from your structure array the next function is the array find array find you can apply a function to the each element of a structure array for example to use array fun and then you must create a function handle function handle in matlab create with add sign and i want to uh, find the length of the name in the name field so i use the length command the input is x so i use the x dot what field i want to work with it name so i use the name and then the name of the structure array the patient if you run it the output is a five and four if you open the patient you will see that got them the length is a five and it is a four or you can uh, use the mean for calculating the mean of this variable for test when you want to work with a uh, uh, matrix or mean you need to set the uniform output to the false when you set the uniform output to the false you will see that in the output you can the mean are calculated for you okay it's array find that you can apply a function to each element in the structure array sometimes it's better for you to write a loop and uh, first find the size of the structure array and read every field and apply a function to this but you want to use a ready function for this purpose you can use the array font.